my name is Emma Stein, and I'm a resident artist at the studio. When I was 13, my mom and I came here to Corning, and I saw the hot glass show and decided that was it. That was what I was going to do for the rest of my life. So after that, I went to Snow Farm for summer camp. I came here for a couple of classes in winter break when I could, and then um, I went to Alfred University where I really started to study glass. So normally when I walk into the hot shop, I am a hot glass sculptor and I love making flowers and leaves and fruit and that was not what I was going to do here. I wanted to use this opportunity of the residency to not fall back on my comfort zone. I wanted to take this idea that I had had it in the back of my head for a long time of taking a rose window and pulling it into the three-dimensional and break down how, um, how humans use this circular geometry in so many different ways. A rose window is a circular window, uh, often in churches and usually at the four cardinal points, especially at the entrance or behind the altar. Um, at first, when I first got here, I was, I was really set on taking one rose window and doing my interpretation of it in many different ways, the one rose window, and I realized that that kind of flew in the face of the philosophy of the rose window. So uh, I took my interpretation of the rose window as a whole, as a concept, as a practice. I took cane, which uh, is often used um, in longer pieces and then rolled over a bubble to make lines. But um, then you can also use marini, which are smaller pieces uh, in patterns. And I was kind of playing between the two of making cane, uh, where there was just a little bit of color in the center, a lot of clear on the outside, and variations on that, and then making them at different lengths and putting them into the pattern of the rose window at different lengths so it changed the rose window from a two-dimensional to a three-dimensional. And then uh, I heated it up together, uh, letting the glass all stick to itself and then draped it over a form in the kiln and let the heat then slump it over that kiln. I was very meticulous and controlled with making the pattern exactly the way I wanted it to, and then, and then I let it go. The studio has given me access and the ability to do anything and everything I dreamed up. Um, I would think of it one second, ask them for um, something to make that happen, and within moments I could actually see that coming to fruition, and that could never happen anywhere else.